Hey guys, it's Charlie from Twin Tet Tutorials, and here's another Sony Vegas 10 tutorial. Okay, so let's open up Sony Vegas Pro. What we're going to be doing is um, working with the media generators, which I have already up. Um, in most cases, you won't already have it up, like in that tab right there. So you want to go to View, and scroll down until you see Media Generators, and then click that. And that just made it go away. So I'm going to go ahead and click that again. So here are all your media generators. There's a lot of files, but we're going to be using Noise Texture for this one. Scroll all the way down until you see Microscopic Threads 2 and drag that into your timeline. This window right here is your media generators editor. You can get that by clicking the generated media button right there. And that brings your uh, window back up. So if you play your animation right now, well it's not even an animation, nothing's happening. So what we can do to change that is, let me just get my window back up here, click animate. And we're going to be animating this just like the other thing. Except how we're going to do this is instead of changing everything like the color or whatever, we're just going to be changing the progress in degrees. So this entire scale is based on 1 to 10, or 0 to 10. And the more you move it, the further along it goes. So see, it, I'm at 5, 0.55 and it's going pretty slow. It's exactly what I want. But if you, say, move it up to well, if you move it up to 10, it's going to be going really fast because it has to get from 0 to 10 as quickly as possible or within that time frame. So we're just going to use that, five point or point five five, And then go ahead two seconds. By the way, I went ahead two seconds last time because of just, like, simplicity. Add 0.55 because we want it to be even when we add these together. Go ahead another two seconds. Add 0.55 to get 1.650. Go ahead two seconds and repeat. And our last frame at the end of 10 seconds. So now if we play our animation, it looks pretty cool. The background's moving. I don't know if that is. It's like worms or something, but... So all these settings right here all contribute to the picture or what that's going to look like in the end. So the number of layers is um, how many layers basically I'll show you in a sec oh hold on um, 3.0 just want to change this back to normal 3.0 okay we'll go back to the first frame so we can see what we're doing in our preview area and you see when I add more drag the thing up for more layers or let drag it down for less layers changes what it's going to look like the frequency in X will scrunch it and add more or take away. And then the same thing in Y, except on the Y axis, which is up and down. And then the noise parameters. The minimum will change how bright it'll get. And the max will just change how dark it's going to get. So like your lighting features there. And then your biases, which color, the background color, or the worm color, is going to have more power in the picture. So I'm just going to leave that where it is. The amplitude is just sort of an overlaying tint to the whole thing and how much you want. I usually just put that on full. The fall off is the same thing as the layers button, except you can only go down, and it's a little bit more exact. So now we're going to look at the colors, which are to your right. If you hit swap colors, I'll show you that. 
the worms now become brown and the background is pink or the more color just where it inverts it you can change the colors of that specific frame or that uh, keyframe let's make that green that's your background color color B color A is your worm color not sure why I'm calling them worms it's probably really annoying so yeah now if we look at our timeline it looks like everything's changing around it looks pretty cool and if we actually go ahead and play our animation you can see that it moves and change colors changes colors pretty cool so let's just move something we'll turn down the number of layers so now it looks like it's growing and it's changing color all while moving pretty cool so you can do this with any of these noise check textures I just decided to use that one I'm Charlie Gallagher from Twin Tut Tutorials and this has been a Sony Vegas 10 Pro tutorial thanks for watching